Hello CLAT aspirants, so here we have the next series of idioms and phrases, the maxims, the parables, the adage, the saying, the quotes, yes the important passages have important idioms and phrases and which are those idiom phrases, let us unreveal this mysterious world of idioms and phrases, right. Beginning with the first idiom very interesting and very simple one, we will I will do make up sentences where I feel so. To add fuel to the flames is to excite the fury that means in simple words adding fuel to fire is to incite somebody or if I would say that is provoke somebody right, provoke or incite. You are making the person who is very calm and quiet lose his temper to back the wrong horse is to help the wrong person. Please note the back the wrong horse, you are doing something which will help the wrong person. That means, you are in the devil's party, right. You know, uh, the chief minister provoked the people and added fuel to the fire. You must not back the wrong horse. Moving to the next. To bark at the moon is to rail uselessly at men in higher places, that means same idiom we have bark up at the wrong tree, we are making a comparison between the two idioms, a slight little difference in the two. When you are barking at the moon, that means you are shouting and yelling at a person who is at a very high position and to bark up the wrong tree is to direct one's attack or criticism the wrong person, like suppose the peon is not responsible for who got admission or not. And you are barking, you are shouting at the person, losing your tempers and you are out of your wits. This is barking up the wrong tree. Moving to the next, to bask in the sunshine, very interesting, you know, bask. that is, you know, enjoy in that sunshine, to enjoy the favor or good graces of somebody, right, you have done something very good. So, you are somebody who is enjoying the favor or good graces of something. To be here a charmed life, charmed is an interesting life, to be almost incredibly fortunate or to be invulnerable, that is living a charmed life. See when you are basking in the sunshine, you have a favor or support, you are in good books, yes you are in good books and to be here a charmed life is almost incredibly, you are very fortunate, you are very lucky, like you are a blue eyed person, yes which idiom, blue eyed person. Moving to the next, to bear the brunt, very important put an asterisk to it, to bear the brunt means somebody who is to endure the shock of, to bear the palm, to bear uh, the shock of something, to endure. What is endure? That is to tolerate. You know, when there is traffic, uh, policeman, uh, the sentence which came in CLAT, it was like it is uh, the traffic policeman who has to bear the brunt and face all the pollution. To bear the palm, that is to win, that means to carry, right, to carry the trophy, to carry the day, that means to win to bear the palm, you know palm is the sign of victory, palm tree, palm leaf which is the sign of victory. Moving to next, to beat about the bush, please note this, beat about the bush, you know you got, uh, you want a bike from your parents, so you will beat about the bush, it is an indirect manner of saying, of saying. The other word we use for this is periphrastic, the other word we use very interesting, see the roots which work wonderfully, circumlocution, circum is round, locution is speed, circumlocution, kuma firakar baat karna, in an indirect manner of speaking, roundabout manner of speaking is beating about the bush. To beg the question is to assume the truth of the matter that is in question, you take it for yes, you take it for granted. 
to beggar description kashmir is so beautiful that you don't have words you have to beggar description that means it is so extraordinary beautiful that it's almost to describe it is next to impossible so kashmir's beauty beggars description to bell the cat you know uh, based on the famous story the fable that we have read all the mice thought that the cat is a big problem why not uh, you know bell the cat so when the cat comes next time we'll be all able to come to know that the cat is there but who is going to bell the cat because the person who is going to bell the cat the leading position who is going to take he has to sacrifice his life right to take great personal risk because the person who goes to bell the cat may be no more moving to the next to be in the driving seat means you have the controlling power you have the remote in your hand right the director is usually in the institute to be at the driving seat to be taken for a ride is to be cheated or deceived you know you play fast and loose there's another idiom for this which one to play fast and loose that's also means to cheat to do treachery to deceive somebody to be tied to somebody's apron string too long or too much under somebody's control is to be tied to somebody's apron string to be left out in the cold is be ignored or neglected nobody pays attention to you and you are neglected or ignored for it that is to be left out in the cold to be tied to somebody's apron you have too much somebody under control and left in the cold is you are ignored or neglected to bide one's time is to wait for a favorable opportunity you wait for the best opportunity that comes for you that is to bide one's time to bite the dust is to suffer defeat or humiliation please mark it very important idiom you know sometimes you don't want to do it but you have to eat humble pie please note another idiom for this right to eat humble pie that means you are somebody who is not who has to another one yes to eat crow to bear the defeat humiliation you had a bet with your friend and he lost your bet so you have to eat crow right suppose you don't study and you're not successful so you have to eat crow that the same to bite the dust or to eat humble pie you will be always humiliated and felt something very down to earth in this moving to the next to bite off more than one can chew we had this in clat 15 to bite off more than one can chew is to attempt too much too much you know having too many irons in one go you are doing something which you cannot bite but you're still doing that to blow blow hot and cold is to be inconsistent because sometimes hot and sometimes cold so in that case you are very inconsistent and unreliable about things <coughs> <coughs> to blow off the steam is to find an outlet i know which word we used in english for this that is vent out please note the word vent out to pent for pent up energy and emotions pent up is controlled whatever energy you have saved and control you take it out on somebody that is to blow off the steam to blow off one's trumpet you know speak highly of oneself you heard of the word narcissism narcissism is self praise self obsession beating one's own trumpet you are so much obsessed about oneself that you don't see anything else you know this is based on the famous story of the handsome youth who was you know proposed by aphrodite the goddess aphrodite but he refused so she turned him into a flower and this flower has this narcissism that is flower keeps looking in the image which falls in the pond or the stream nearby and admiring its beauty right so narcissism is a defect in love too much of love for oneself see loving oneself looking standing in the mirror and saying i'm very handsome and beautiful that's okay but if you do it 20 times a day this is self obsession too much of being self obsessed and finding oneself the best out of it right 
moving to the next to break new grounds is to begin operations on a new course, new functions, you are making something new, you know breaking new grounds, your new venture, new course, new thinking. To break the back of something is to finish the hardest or larger piece of work, you are completing that work which is the hardest or the larger piece of work. To break the ice, please note this, we do uh, you know somebody is very quiet in the room, nobody is talking and then what we would say that is somebody must break the ice. What is breaking the ice means to start the conversation when there is complete silence in the room, you would ask somebody to break the ice. To break the news is to disclose the information that is in fact spill the beans something which was unknown, which is was a secret, same item we have to bell the cat, uh, sorry that is to take the cat out of the, to take the cat out of the bag or to spill the beans that is to reveal information. Next to bring down the house, this is an important one to mark it. To bring down the house means to call forth general and loud applause, means you instigate people to like it, to give a laudatory performance to it. This is something which is part of laudation. So, bring down the house, the house refers to, yes the house refers to the public and you expect a laudation from the public. The lord root means praising somebody, appreciating, clapping or liking it. To bring to the book means to punish somebody, to call to account, you make the person suffer for the consequences. That is the same idiom we did from Merchant of Venice of Shylock, yes that is a pound of flesh, please note. A pound of flesh and it is a pound of flesh and we have the famous story of Merchant of Venice when Shylock demands this and finally, he has to bear the sufferance or consequence of his wrong action. Moving to the next to burn one's boats or bridges that is to destroy all means of going back, you do not want to you know move back to the same stage, so that one must go forward. To burn the candle at both ends means you are using too much, see we burn the candle at just one end, if you are burning it at both ends means you are using a lot of your energy, you are exhausting yourself too much of that use, you are working very early and very late too much of energy is exhausted. If you are burning the candle at both ends, you may have to pay the piper. To call a spade a spade is very direct in your speech, being very candid, being very outspoken. To speak the plain truth, that is avoid making any controversial statement. Right. To call one's short is to state exactly what one intends to do, you are telling the intentions or desires of a person that is called one's shorts. To call it a day that is stop working, you wind up with your things, your work is done for that particular period, for that particular day that is call it a day. To carry everything before one that is being very completely successful, you are flying in the air or you uh, you know rise like a phoenix, right? Because you are on cloud 9 and you are rising like a phoenix. To carry the day that means to victorious, to cast aspersions on somebody that means talk bad about somebody, you know in simple words defame someone, slanders or gossip about someone and say false things, you know you spoil the reputation of someone by these slanders and gossips because that person's reputation is just by spoiled just because of your aspersions, your slanders, gossips, talks and anything that is spoiling his reputation. To cast into the shade is to eclipse, you have learned lunar eclipse and solar eclipse in your school time, yes that will escape from that, evade, yes elope and escape from it. 
to cast one's net wide to, to spread one's efforts in all directions means not limited or confined to a particular place you spread your efforts in all directions to cast pearls before swine must be a uh, very much known one what is swine? Swine is pig. So, casting pearls before swine means you offering things to people who are actually not deserving. They do not deserve what you give, you know, they do not appreciate what you do and these people can never like or applaud for your things because they do not have that taste. To catch a person napping, you know teachers usually history teachers find their students napping to take a person being unaware of things, he is not there, you could be saying he is in his uh, not in his mind or he is absent minded about it. See idioms actually you have to understand, get into it, grasp the meaning, get hold of the grip of it and then you would enjoy and like them, right. We will be coming up with the next of this, right. Please do like your, uh, send your comments, likes, shares and we will be eagerly waiting for this, right. Thank you.